Hi, good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon. This is your host, your guy, my, on my football channel called DLG Repping. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, to the girls, how have you been all day? Um, I know I've been good, and I'm always trying to be good, and live and live in my life the best way I can. Um, for my viewers, to my fans, thank you for always tuning in and listening. And I know um, my views have not gone up as such, so um, I'm working on that. The main thing is, um, if you like what I talk about, um, yeah, subscribe. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate the likes and I appreciate the comments. But um, yeah, do subscribe to my channel and let's have a football conversation. And um, thinking about what I, before, thinking about um, the Premier League. And all these um, multi-billionaire club owners that um, have taken over English football clubs, such as Chelsea, the Manchester City, the Arsenal's, the Liverpool's, the Man United. Let's just see if they really appreciate the fans. You know, it's the fact it's because of the fans that football clubs were created. And if not for football fans. There'll be no Manchester United, Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester City, Chelsea, etc., etc., etc. It's because of the fans. And the fans will always care passionately about their football teams and clubs. The question is, yeah, to some of you owners, do you care as much as the fans, as much as me, Stan Kroenke, do you care as much as me? Do you have the passionate... Do you have the passionate affection that I have for my football club? And I ask the recruitment team that you give the money to spend on Shaka, on Mustafi, Mkhitaryan and etc. of nonsense players that we've got in our team. Players that are just not good enough. Recruitment team... As the Arsenal recruitment team, do you care as much as I do? Because the answer to that question is no. You don't care. You just don't care. Wasting money in on... Investing money on individual players are just not good enough... To, to take us to the level we want to be at. Hmm? Just look at our midfield and our defence. And football owners. Like Mike Ashley, do you care about Newcastle? Well, if you truly love yourself, your family you and your, and your friends, if you truly love them the way you say you love them, you do the right thing and leave Newcastle, which you're doing. It's a shame this complication over the takeover of the new regime from Saudi Arabia because of you. Because of you. And Stan Kroenke, if you love your personal family, meaning your wife and your children, the way you say you do, and, you're, and you appreciate your friends and other relatives the way that you may have said you have done, then you will resign from Arsenal Football Club. You hear that? Arsenal Football Club. Resign, sell up, and never, ever let us hear or see you again. But if you so truly care deeply, then... Sooner rather than later, you find the cash and inject it into this football club. Because we're a sinking, sinking ship. Uh, the friend who WhatsApp me earlier saying, Our, um, Manchester United and Chelsea are competing for Champions League places next season where Arsenal are going down because of um, a lack of um, care. Because we're not spending money. Why are we not spending money? Because... The likes of you, Stan Kroenke, and the recruitment team, and to an extent, the board of directors just don't care as much as we do. Hence the reason why we're moving like a small club, 
not like a big club. It'll be five, six years until I see Arsenal challenging for the title, me thinks. So anyway, end of that rant. I'm just going to move on to um, what I really want to talk about. And I'm going to start off with um, Napoli and Belgium international striker Dries Mertens and the reason why he turned down Chelsea. So allow me to go into the BBC Interactive. And um, he believes at the time maybe Chelsea didn't show enough interest in him. It could have been possibly the financial situation. Who knows? And here we go. Belgium forward Dries Mertens came close to joining Chelsea but will renew his contract with Napoli. Instead, journalist Christophe Thierry has told BBC Radio 5 Live in January when Chelsea knocked on the door, he was quite convinced, Belgian reporter Thierry said. But once you are in the south of Italy with good money and you are a god, why would you change that? Wow. So, I did say money. So he was on good money, yeah? And he felt like a god in the south of Italy. That's someone who felt loved and appreciated and adored by all Napoli fans. So he did not want to change that. Okay. Well, he's blown his big chance of playing in the Premier League and um, well, he's age, he's early 30s. He's coming to the business end of his career. So it's entirely up to him. Reading on. He would come to the Premier League as a nobody and in Italy he is a star. But Dries Mertens is well known in England. I've heard of him. Come on. Chelsea fans or football fans. Try and come into my section. uh, Try and come into my comment section and tell me that Dries Mertens is not known in this country. Because we all know that it's not the case. He is known in this country. A nobody. Drop your comments below. And while you're doing that, um, football fans, smash the thumbs up like button abundantly. But the main thing I would love more than anything is for you viewers who are tuning in and listening to my channel to help me in, with the greatest respect by smashing that subscribe button for me hard and passionately. And I say left, right and centre. Smash that subscribe button to me. Yeah? Yeah? All I've got is um, oh, just so just as little as thirty six, and um, I could do with a lot more subscribers to help me build this channel, and I can help you um, post more videos every morning, afternoon, and evening when I can, yeah. And I'll be doing that all week and this weekend to come. So thank you for um, listening to that, yeah. Thank you. However, I'm going to move on to another story. And um, that's Liverpool winger. He goes by the name of um, Taiwo Awoni. Um, I hope I've said that. I think I've said that correctly for um, the viewers in Nigeria who may be watching or may not be watching. Yes, um, Liverpool winger Taiwo Awoni was taken to hospital after suffering a concussion playing for German club Mainz where he is on loan. Aoni, 22, was hurt after a clash with clash of heads with Osberg, um defender Felix Uduakai in the first half. The former Nigerian youth international landed awkwardly and after a delay was carried off on a stretcher with his neck in a brace. Mainz said Aoni was responsive and will spend the night in hospital. Wow, it's just one of those things that happen. You go up for a header with another opponent and um, you just don't time it right and bang. And this was a complete accident with um, a central defender. So it's best for him to be in hospital overnight and um, as soon as he feels better, 
only in the only in the discretion of the doctors and nurses that they can um, discharge him from his hospital bed and he can get back to um, his home and everyday life and then look forward to training. These things happen and um, that's um, the state that he's going through. And he's an ex-Nigerian um, inter- Nigerian youth international and still a Liverpool player. Will he still have a future with Liverpool? Um, only Jurgen Klopp will know that more. But obviously, when talking about his players, I'm I'm sure he prefers to keep that coy as possible. So, um, get well soon, um, Taiwo Awoni. Like to see you in the English Premier League performing for Liverpool or just performing in the Premier League alone. Maybe your time will come one day. So, moving on in other news... Um, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has said that um, it, the onus is, is down to the board to whether he will sign a contract with Arsenal or not. Now, he says it's the biggest decision of his footballing career. And it all ponders on how Arsenal will um, finish off the season. And I mean, he did say that um, he would like to see Arsenal finish off the season well. But, you know, we start again against Man City this Wednesday. Hey! Easy three points. Whoops. <laughs> you know I'm being sarcastic. And you know I'm joking. Um, yeah, he's had his um, say on the matter. He said that the board are... Well, he said the board have the um, ball in their corner. So, we'll wait on that. We'll wait on that and see how that develops. But he's had his say. And... Um, <laughs> He has been a revolution a revolution for us. I mean, what a striker. He's just scored goals um, all his football career, you know. And um, he's made us Arsenal fans happy. And if it's not for him, we could be, we could be closer to the relegation zone than we are in top nine. So we've got a big game against Man City and we've got a final plan of coming away with a result without having to get beat and beat with humiliation like what happened at the Emirates. So um, I'm going to leave you um, guys alone. It's the end of the night, or the end of the day, should I say. And um, let me wrap it up. So to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, this is your host, this is your guy, DLG Repping. And I'll leave you by saying peace, love and bliss. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. And um, I'm out. Laters.